What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 12.1.1 Beta 3 to register developers on a Thursday over a week after Beta 2 got released. And you can see right here, this update came in at 142.7 megabytes on my iPhone XS. Of course, that size will vary depending on your device and which version you're coming from, but that did come from Beta 2. And if we go ahead and check out the build number, if we go into settings, general about, you can see the build number there, 16C5050A. And we do have an A in the build number, which does usually indicate that we are very close to the GM build. Uh, I've seen it before where that was the GM build number. So I would imagine that maybe beta four will be the GM. So we should have 12.1.1, the final version, very, very soon. And then of course, in typical Apple fashion, I'm sure we will have iOS 12.2 beta one released very shortly after the final version of 12.1.1 gets released. But anyways, what is new in beta three of 12.1.1? And obviously you guys saw that the size was very small, only 142 megabytes, which does usually indicate that this is literally only bug fixes and maybe some security enhancements, and that is true. There are no outward facing changes here in beta three, but I did wanna mention something in beta two that I did not cover, and that's that phones without 3D touch now have added functionality to the lock screen notification. So basically, in your notification center on the lock screen, you could tap and hold on an icon or on a uh, bubble right there and open it up in the application that the notification was for. So basically just like you can see here on my 3D touch enabled iPhone XS, you can see when I tap and hold right there using the pressure sensitive screen and 3D touch, it opens just like that. Well, now you can do that on phones like the iPhone XR that do not have 3D touch. And that's really the only feature that I've noticed that has been changed. There's really nothing else new since the very first beta, but there are some bugs that have been plaguing people in beta too. Now I have not experienced any of these bugs. I don't use this beta on my daily driver exactly for the reasons I'm about to explain in a minute, but I have not had really any issues at all with beta two or 12.1.1 in general, even the first beta. I really haven't had any issues at all. Battery life and performance are both great. It's pretty much the same as 12.1, maybe a little bit better even, but I haven't really noticed any major bugs. I haven't really had many hiccups. I haven't had any random reboots or anything like that. It's been pretty good for me overall. However, like I mentioned, there are people that have been reporting issues and I always like to go on Reddit and MacRumors forums and places like that to see the issues that people are experiencing with these iOS beta versions. And a lot of people actually said that in beta two, applications like Spotify, Uber, and a few other applications wouldn't work on LTE. So if you were out and about and you wanted to get an Uber or you want to play Spotify, you wouldn't be able to on LTE. It would only work on Wi-Fi for whatever reason. And some people reported that with Spotify, you actually just had to close the application you had to go into the notification center or into the app switch or rather and close the application and reopen it to actually get it to work again on LTE. So like I mentioned, obviously I don't use this as a daily driver. I don't take it outside and use it. You know, I don't have my SIM card in here. I only use it on Wi-Fi. But if you did experience this on beta two, let me know and also let me know if beta three fixed it. However, I'm sure that if you did have that issue, you probably already downgraded it 12 one, like many people have reported. But if you did want to go back to the beta and go to beta three to see if it has been fixed, I would greatly appreciate it if you would let me know down in a comment below if it indeed has been fixed. Now, another issue that I actually saw from two different people on two different sites is that the button to disable notifications inside the app store is laughably small. I literally laughed when I saw this image right here. So I don't really know how this bug happened, but you can see right there, I saw this from two different people. And once again, I have not had a bug like this at all in 12.1.1 or really any version of iOS 12. But as far as beta three goes, everything feels about the same as beta two. I mean, I went in and out of the applications. I went inside these settings and went through everything in settings. Nothing has been changed. Performance and battery life, I'm sure are gonna be pretty much exactly the same as they were in beta two, which once again, not really an improvement over 12.1.1 or 12.1 rather, the official version. So when 12.1.1 comes out, don't be expecting a big boost in performance or battery life. It's really just to fix bugs and you know, it fixed security issues going on as well. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for iOS 12.1.1 beta three, really nothing much to see here. And I don't want to drag this video on forever, just talking about nothing. But I do want to know your experience with these betas. Let me know if beta two has been great for you. Let me know if beta three is good for you as well. And if there's anything new that I may have missed, although I highly doubt it with that small file size. But yeah, if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more future beta release videos. So thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you soon.